really depends on the specific issues patients are suffering. If the predominant sim uh, problem, if the predominant problems are an increase in constitutional symptoms or big spleens, drugs like JAK inhibitors can be very effective. If the problem is one of low blood counts, it can be more an issue of supporting with blood transfusions and growth factors. And if patients have very aggressive disease, we often sometimes have to think about more um, definitive treatments, for example, in patients young enough, bone marrow transplantation. So it's a highly individualized approach, but the options are relatively clear. In regards to deciding on the right treatment, um, it is very important, again, to engage and have an open dialogue with your healthcare providers, not only about your disease and um, the treatment options available for the specific stage of your disease, but it is very important for you to uh, get across to your team what your goals are what you want your quality of life to be and what factors are important to you so that the healthcare providers can weigh this in regards to treatment options that might be suitable for you. In regards to myelofibrosis, uh, the only treatment option that truly has curative intent is an allogeneic stem cell transplant. This is something that absolutely you should bring up with your provider. However, uh, the number of people who are eligible for a transplant of this nature can be very, very limited. So it's important just to understand why you might or might not be eligible. In regards to the treatments and medications that we routinely prescribe for myelofibrosis, they really can run the gamut, but they're truly meant to help manage your symptoms. Um, so it is important to express what symptoms you are having, to report anything to your team, and just really don't be afraid to engage in open dialogue and conversation. Yes, your healthcare providers are the experts in terms of the medical management of myelofibrosis, but it is a priority for you to weigh in on what you want your future to look like and what things are important to you throughout the treatment course. The key is to have a healthcare team that really understands myelofibrosis, and if the local team doesn't, having expert help from the myelofibrosis experts that are in the country. And so it's critical for patients to ask their doctor, how many patients do you take care of with myelofibrosis? How many patients have you treated with all these different things? And if the answer is not that many, they should say to their doctor, I'd like to go see an expert and have them involved in my care plan. It's something we in medicine do very well. We all work together. And I think it's something that myelofibrosis patients have to be acutely aware of, the need to have doctors involved in their care who really understand this disease and think about it all the time. I think it's important to go into the office visit, go into seeing your doctor with a firm idea of what your goals are, what your expectations are, and making sure to communicate through the process because we want to make sure that the plan of care that the team comes up with is congruent with really what you want and what you're hoping and expecting um, as you go through it. It's really important when we know the important things to the patient to be able to make sure that the treatment plan is something that um, can make those things still happen.